In this video, I'll show you the Spike Hub's three-dimensional gyro. One of the perceived disadvantages to the Spike Prime Hub is the fact that it only has six ports instead of the EV3's eight. But with that comes a superior built-in three-dimensional gyro sensor that you don't have to plug into a port or make room for on your robot and this gyro doesn't drift. To see the Spike Hub's gyro readings, you just need to click on the hub icon on your programming screen and make sure the tilt angle is selected. To access this screen is just a little different depending on if you're using the Spike Prime or Mindstorms app. On the Spike Prime app, the hub selector is in the upper left-hand corner, and when you click on it, you get a picture of the hub, and these are your gyro readings right here, the yaw, pitch, and roll. For the Mindstorms app, the hub selector is in the upper right hand corner but when you click on it you get the same picture and here is your gyro readings of yaw, pitch, and roll. To understand the difference between pitch, yaw, and roll just imagine the hub as an airplane. In an airplane pitch is the angle of the nose pointing up or down. When an airplane wants to climb the nose will pitch up and when it wants to dive the nose will pitch down. Roll is when an airplane banks for a turn. Airplanes will roll to the left or right before making a sharp turn. And finally, yaw is the side-to-side -side movement. Airplanes can make small adjustments left or right without banking by using the tail rotors to point the nose of the airplane left or right. Since the yaw is the left or right reading on your hub, that is the one you will use to steer your robot around on a flat surface. You can see, as I swing the hub to the right, the yaw value goes up into positive numbers. And if I swing the hub back to the left, the yaw value goes into negative numbers. The built-in gyro is one of the best improvements added to the Spike Prime Hub. It doesn't require an extra port, it doesn't get knocked out and go into drift, and you don't have to figure out where to mount it so it doesn't take up any space.